Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So this is definitely one of the biggest ChatGPT updates so far. OpenAI has integrated DALI 3 and GPT-4, so now you can generate unique images directly in ChatGPT by providing specific prompts or let ChatGPT prepare them for you. Moreover, you have the flexibility to modify, edit text, change resolution, download these images and more. I've been testing it for a while and in this video I'm going to provide you with a full guide on how to use it and and later I'll show you some of the best examples and use cases. So let's dive right in. To get started, you need to have access to GPT-4, just select DALI 3 from the drop-down menu and that's it. Once activated, you'll be able to input text prompts like create a photorealistic 25-year-old girl with a tattoo. ChatGPT will take your query and use DALI 3 to create a bunch of different pictures for you to pick from. Wow, look how realistic the results are. ChatGPT generated four pictures and we could have provided a detailed prompt with a lot of specifics, but since we gave it only one broad sentence, ChatGPT kind of took the initiative and came up with the prompts on its own. You can check and copy those prompts on the right hand side and in the upper right corner there is an option to download the image. If you want to continue working with a particular image, you can refer to them by the numbers they are given, from left to right, top to bottom. So the top left image is 1, the top right is 2, the bottom left is 3 and the bottom right is 4. I'm now referring to image number 1 and asking it to change the background to a nature scene. ChatGPT definitely understood which image I referred to. The character is not exactly the same, um, but it is very similar. With the same tattoo design, I mean with the same t-shirt. Obviously, my request was not clear again, so ChatGPT built up a prompt based on my request. Now, let's ask ChatGPT what image dimensions are available for generation. ChatGPT can currently generate images in three resolutions. Square, which is what we've seen so far, wide and tall, which is basically horizontal and vertical. Let's ask it to make that image wide. And we get the horizontal version of that image. It is not identical again, but the main characteristics of the image remain the same. Now let's try changing the background back and adding some text on top of it. The result is very decent, it can actually generate the text now, which is a great improvement, but sometimes the text is a bit messed up. I've tested a lot of prompts and I'd say that roughly half of the results containing text usually have minor issues, like here. This phrase is supposed to be, be unique, be you. And be unique is, well, understandable, but be you is a bit messed up. I, I wouldn't be able to read it, honestly. All right, now it's time to have some fun. I am going to show you some of the best use cases for this feature. And in the meantime, we'll try to understand the current weaknesses of DALI 3. Let's start with the logo design. I'm going to ask you to design a logo for a coffee shop called Bread Basket Bakery. I received four options and I think the second one is the closest to what I need. And talking about weaknesses, you see the generated text is not perfect. The space here is definitely not needed. So let's iterate and ask it to try again. In the real world, I would put more thought into this task. Instead of just saying try again, I'd analyze all four prompts and choose one to make the necessary changes. The result would be much better, but in this video I'm not going to provide a lot of specifications. Let's see how ChatGPT handles it with minimal context. Okay, this seems better to me. It fixed the issue with the text and the overall logo seems, seems good to me. I will now refer to this particular image number three and ask it to give me more variations adding a basket to the logo as well. Now I have a well-designed logo that illustrates coffee, bread and a basket and the text is also perfect. Therefore, it can be used right away. Another use case would be to design product packaging. I'll type design product packaging for a new energy drink named Prime. The output might be different. Sometimes you will be presented with four images right away. Other times you will first receive detailed descriptions of each design followed by the images. Well, this one is not too bad. It is uh, number four, so it is sporty and dynamic. I also like the first one, which is described as modern. So let's ask it to focus on modern, 
sporty and dynamic and create more options for us to choose from. Here's the next batch. Um, this one is really nice. This one is also interesting. But you see the letters P and R are not really readable and I think it's not the font design but rather it screwed up the text again. Uh, also here instead of uh, Prime we got Prime Me. But you know as a design concept it doesn't really matter. You would change the text anyway. But it is still helpful to get some decent design ideas to start from. Let's try more variations of option number one. Additionally, I'll ask you to showcase athletes on the can. Yeah, great. This is more or less what I had in mind. I really, I really like it. I think this is incredibly helpful for people who want to order a design from a professional designer but have trouble explaining what they want. They often don't have a way to visualize their ideas but this gives them an option to do so and then provide it as a reference to the designer. The next use case is to create thumbnails. Let's take YouTube thumbnails as an example, since it is the most relevant to me. I ask it to make a YouTube thumbnail for a video titled AI's new dubbing, translating my voice across languages. This was actually my previous video on the channel. I spent several hours in Photoshop creating this thumbnail and let's see what ChatGPT creates in just a few seconds. Wow, this is really great. I mean, look at this. When the thumbnail is small, you know, the one you usually see on YouTube homepage, you wouldn't even notice that the people here are AI generated. I personally want to show my face on the thumbnails, but there are hundreds of content creators that don't necessarily show their faces and they could use these thumbnails right away. Even for content creators like me, it is still a great tool to get some ideas, get some inspiration while creating the thumbnail itself in Photoshop, for example. Also, for content creators like me, your subscription and feedback mean a lot. So just a reminder, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment. If you don't like it, leave a comment as well. And let's move on. Now let's talk tattoo design. It does a great job with tattoos, but you need to be a bit more specific with this one. Let's just test it out. Create tattoo design inspired by the concept of a fish swimming against the stream. Uh, this is what we've got. Well, my prompt was very broad. Let's now clarify it a little and ask it to illustrate them on different parts of a body. Okay, so the design remains similar to what we got in the first batch, but as requested, it is now on different body parts. I really like image number one, so let's focus on it and ask ChatGPT to make it black and white and fish should not express any emotions. So we provide some additional requirements for the design itself. Now, this is better. I still like the first one the most. Let's provide more context and see how it responds. Make all of the fish the same small size. Highlight just one of them with red, the one that goes against others and let's use forearm. It followed my request precisely. Yeah, I did a few iterations, but now this design is very close to what I had in mind. As with our previous examples, it is a great way to visualize your ideas and then share them with a tattoo artist in this example. The next idea is to design a coloring book with Dali 3. For example, design a coloring book page featuring forest animals. To me, these results are absolutely fine and ready to use. You can generate like a hundred of these pages, print them out and save money on coloring books. But it's not really about saving, it's more about being creative. Imagine that you or your child likes Harry Potter. You can use the theme you are interested in and participate in the creation of the coloring book, which is much more interesting than using what is available in stores, right? Let's just quickly ask it to create a coloring book page based on a Harry Potter wizard theme. And here you go, the results are pretty impressive, even though ChatGPT is unable to directly generate the Harry Potter characters due to copyright, I guess. But look, this is definitely inspired by Hogwarts, to say the least. So really, it is very helpful to boost creativity in you or your child. You can be very specific in your prompts, try different ideas and just bring to life what you have imagined. 
Let's say you organize an event and you need a poster for it. Now you can definitely generate it directly in ChatGPT. For example, create a poster for a business networking branch. I get these four pictures. I like the first one, but look at this. The text is completely screwed. What is triple S, double R? Uh, let's ask it to generate more options and add people to images like number one. Okay, this time I like image number three. Let's make it horizontal. Well done, it is now horizontal. Let's also change the text to just networking branch. And this version is something I would actually use, you know, just to share on social media, maybe create an event on Facebook and use this poster as a thumbnail for that event. And it took me only a few minutes to generate it. And the last example today is more of an idea than a real world application for now. Imagine how it can be used for education. A science teacher could generate an engaging illustration to explain the solar system, or a biology teacher could do the same for the human body. Let's just test it out. Illustrate the human body for a biology lesson. And it provides really nice images, but I've tested it a few times and it cannot be trusted just yet. It often has glitches, you know, just like with the text. Even in this example, the skeleton looks fine. Well, probably, at least to me. But the text around it is messed up. Uh, it's not readable and doesn't make any sense. You'd have to ignore it completely. I think it is an interesting concept, maybe not for today, but for the future, definitely yes. Okay, guys, every week there is an update that makes me even more excited about this technology. I am going to cover it consistently, so stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.